was Joe Biden's purpose of coming to Buffalo again? What did he really do? You know, I just want someone to understand something. One grocery store in a two-mile radius. You know, that racist kid is pathetic and embarrassing, and he deserves probably the death penalty and everything that comes along with it. However, he got a lead way to an area that is open season, and it's a bad look for Buffalo. Because it's a bad look because there's not enough community to uh, to manufacture to bring enough to the black folks there on purpose. And it's done in such a way that this cat had access to knowing to go there to infiltrate. Kind of like how the slave masters would go out in the middle of the night, put sheets on the head and throw burning sticks and clansmen and do stuff like that. You know where the property is. You know the place. You see, Joe Biden ain't offering no solutions. You know, he just sitting there giving lip service, empty lip service, comes there. When he goes away, it's business as usual. You see, that's the short end of the stick that black folks face in this country every day. Yeah, there's a little hoopla, there's a little ooh. And then when everybody goes away, it's like back to normal. That's the sickness that is allowed to be manifest. And it's been going on forever and a day. Every single day all over. The, and nothing has changed with that. So what was the purpose of his trip to Buffalo exactly? What did he accomplish exactly? Bringing the governor of New York and all them talking. We've been saying the same conversation in 99 ways. Still hasn't offered no solution. There's no reparations. There's no apologies for slavery. And I do tie it all to that because this white cat comes out and goes historically with his diatribe about uh, the white, you know, losing control and all this crap about white replacement theory. Wow. That's history right there before yourself. You see, you missed the president. How will you address an 18 year old who says white replacement theory? How do you respond to that? As opposed to saying, yeah, he's a killer, murderer, racist, terror, terror, call him a terror. Talk about the real terrors in America who look more like him than what they try to sell you on. Tell them how the Wild Wild West, John Wayne used to kill Indians on TV and how that's infiltrated into a tough guy and what that says. How that racism that's portrayed pushes its way and makes its way over to all counterculture and now to the superhighway. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. But what was Joe Biden's purpose going to Buffalo? He'd been better off just saying that he's rooting for the Buffalo Bills to win it all as opposed to going to Buffalo and not doing anything. Nothing concrete. See, if you're a real true president, you say, ah, you should have another top store. You should have multiple stores. You should see to it that this neighborhood gets the balance. As someone who was born and bred in Buffalo, and I lived a little bit in Cheektowaga, the suburbs, move around. You should have Lackawanna. You should have what they have in some of those other areas. Uh-huh. You know. But you treat Jefferson, and you try to do what you do, you should have it where it has balance. There is no balance. This cat was able to take advantage of that and was trying to do more sadly he did more than enough sadly point is what they gonna do and they haven't done anything because you can't call yourself neighborly if you only have one supermarket in the radius you need to have other options you need to make people be part of the community as you need to make them be part of the united states and it needs to be done as opposed to accepting the breads and the crumbs. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, and comments. And I do respond, thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And I do want to know, why did Joe Biden go to Buffalo again? What was his real purpose? I'm out.